welcome back guys welcome back to crown geek so in this video we will discuss that how you can change the bios type from the legacy to uefi or how you can convert the partition style from mbr to gpt i will be sharing here two different method so in the method one we will be deleting all the data without using any kind of tool however this is a recommended method but still you will be losing all your data so what you can do you can take the data back up first and then proceed with this step but in case if you don't want to delete your data and still you want to change the partition style and the bio style from legacy to uefi then we will be using a software here that will be absolutely free so let's quickly get started now here if i show you so right now if i go to my system information so you can see my bios type has been currently set to legacy and even if i go to the disk management and here if i go to the volume and show you so right now the partition style has been set to mbr so this is what exactly i will be changing so let's move with the first method so what you will have to do here you need to click on your windows search type cmd choose run as administrator the black window will be coming up now the first command that you have to type here will be mbr to gpt space forward slash validate space forward slash disk colon zero now zero is the disk number that i have that i want to convert from mbr to gpt so in order to find out you can go to the disk management and look here for the disk that you want to change all right so most of the time it's disk zero but if you have the multiple disk then you can find the right disk number and enter that disk number over here in case if it's one so you have to replace this zero with one and then give a space type for slash allow full os now this command you will be getting in the description and i would recommend you that kindly go ahead copy and paste here instead of manually typing so once you are done hit the enter key and now here you can see that I'm getting a validation error and that is just because partition style is set to MBR which doesn't support more than four partition. So if you have more than four partition then probably you will have to delete one. So again you can go back to the disk management and from here you can choose any of your partition that you want to delete. If you want to take the data backup first you can take the data backup and then make a right click on the partition that you want to delete and then delete it once it's been done again if you come back and run the same command so it will be all done and then finally the last command that you will have to type will be mbr to gpt space forward slash convert space forward slash disk colon zero space forward slash allow full os now hit the enter key and the process will now be started now the best part of this command is that first it will try to save your data and convert the partition without deleting your data all right so you can check it out and see that if it doesn't delete your data then you don't have to go with the second method and you are all good to go with the first method only so once this command is completed you are ready to move and change your bios type from legacy to uefi so for that you have to restart the computer in the bios mode and to enter the BIOS mode, you can use a different BIOS key depending on uh, what kind of motherboard manufacturer you're using. So once you come up to the BIOS or advanced, wherever you get the BIOS option, and here you will find the BIOS type. So you can click on the drop down and from legacy, you can choose to UEFI. Once selected, you have to press the F10 key, save the changes, and now restart the computer. And once the computer gets restarted, open the system information. So you will find that my BIOS type is now being set to UEFI from legacy. So this was the first method, guys. If this worked for you, if you are okay with this, then you can skip the second method. But if you want to go with the second method, then here we will be using a software called Mini Tool Partition Wizard that is absolutely free. So you will be getting the link in the description of this mini tool. And once you come to the website, hover up to download partition wizard, then click on download. Once downloaded, you need to run the setup wizard. And here you can uncheck these two options below and only keep the option of mini tool partition wizard checked. Click on next, let it get downloaded. 
and once it will be downloaded you will be getting this kind of box and this will display your disk now what you will have to do here you need to make a right click on this disk then it will give you an option convert gpt disk to mbr disk as i have already converted this disk to gpt so it's giving me an option to, to convert the gpt disk to mbr but you will be getting the option of convert mbr disk to gpt so you will have to select this option and it will take few seconds few minutes and your partition style will be converted to gpt so once it's been converted you have to follow the same step you need to go to the bios and from there you will have to change the bios boot from legacy to ufi so this is how exactly it works guys and hopefully you know now that how you have to do this process and if you found this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe if you have any kind of confusion any kind of problem then let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye